Hey guys and welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Phil Richards. In today's test, we're going to be going through the Craig's test. So what is this test for? Well, this test is used to detect femoral antiversion. What does that mean? So antiversion in reference to the femur is, let's imagine the femur, the long bone, and you took the head of the femur and then you rotated it in, but you kept the, the shaft of the bone in the same position. That's what an antiversion would be. So your typical person that's going to present to you in clinic is gonna look like they've got squinting patella because um, their knees look like they're coming in. But actually in relation to their hip joint, the hip's sitting quite nicely. So they might have patella femoral type pain um, or anything related to that sort of excessive internal pressure. So, we're going to use the test to see whether they have this or not. And if they do have it, then it means what you're working with is, it's not so much a bony abnormality, it's just a bony difference in that person. But it may mean that they need an ongoing therapy program to keep them balanced in terms of their muscles because they're always going to want to go back to the way they are because it's a structural problem. On the other hand, if we do the test and it comes out normal, then we know that we can use the neuromuscular system to try and restore the problem. Um, and it might mean that we have a better outcome longer term and they might not, to keep, they might not have to keep doing an ongoing program. So that's enough of that. How do we do the test? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend one knee up and that's the side we're gonna test. Your other hand is gonna palpate on the side of the hip at the greater trochanter. We're going to feel the very lateral aspect. From here, we're going to bring the femur into medial and lateral rotation. You'll feel the greater trochanter bump moving around. Now, what's normal is that you can feel the most prominence of the bump directly lateral at about 8 to 15 degrees. And that tells you the relative line of the femur to the head is a normal alignment. If when you do it, you're feeling for the prominence on the lateral aspect and it doesn't happen until we get to about here, you have a case where they have excessive femoral antiversion. So that means this is a structural issue that may be contributing to their pain. As usual, we want you to compare left to right. Another way you can substantiate whether this is the case, if someone has femoral antiversion, is to do your usual internal and external femoral rotation with them supine in 90 degrees hip flexion. So if we spin Marie round onto her back, just so we're clear, if they have femoral antiversion, you would expect excessive internal rotation relative to external. But the Craig's test is preferred because of the degree of um, maneuverability with the hip in flexion. So it's not going to give you as a true result as prone in the Craig's test position. So with regards to how much do we use this test, I would say it depends on, on your take on how you want to explore uh, the presentation of the patient. If you feel that they've got the squinting patella, patella femoral pain, they've not been responding to your usual kind of interventions that you'd expect a result from, you could always check this to see if it's more of a structural issue that's causing their pain. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you again soon on Clinical Physio.